Ian Sanderson, the man has known as the inventor of the techno music. So everybody knows you born in Brooklyn and then you moved to the Motor City, Detroit when you was nine. And that city in that time needed an innovation, a challenge that you put written in the air and that you bring to the city. But what about the difference in between that Detroit and the Motor City of nowadays? Detroit is a special city. It's a special city of, of, of talent, of people who work hard, who people who don't give up, who people who try. Um, I was fortunate to come into the music and be a part of Detroit, even though I was originally from New York. So back then, Detroit was uh, always trying to catch up to its past of being innovative. It's the, it's the city from cars, motor vehicles, and, uh, and inventions, uh, Motown. So now, years of generation and lots of talent has passed through Detroit, and it's still around, but it struggles. The struggles of Detroit are still there. Thank you. And um, everybody knows about your super strong and powerful friendship with uh, Derek May and Joan Atkins. But uh, what about the period that you have spent with Paris Gray at the beginning? Yeah, Paris was uh, another different level because I was from New York and I always wanted, uh, I was influenced by vocals as well as just instrumentals. So it was my first chance to really experiment with a talented singer and I wanted to do like vocal stuff with Melody too because I like Shaka Kong, Evelyn Champagne King, uh, Stephanie Mill, so I always like vocals as well. So that's how that project happened. And she's from Chicago, so. And to becoming famous, just come by an accident. I know she was working as a sailor assistant, you were find your first chance. It could be a good chance for everyone and everybody. Yeah, Paris was... Are you still good friends? Yes, we still work on music. <laughs> So Paris, uh, we, we're very good friends, and and it, it caught both of us off guard because she was working in a store, and I kept saying, "Come on, you got to come on the road and sing." And she was like, "No, I got to work." But when she went on the road and seen the potential and what was going on of the record that she had wrote, she decided to give it up her job and come on and do it. Thank you very much. And uh, I know it happens that uh, in uh, November 2012. Uh, your mixing board have been deployed in the Detroit Historical Museum. So, like, how was your feeling? It's like the sword of King Arthur. You know, a lot of history. It's a great thing that uh, I've been able to give to Detroit and get some appreciation as well. It's really cool. And uh, this, is, this is a weird question, but... Uh, with a name uh, like Kevin Saunderson, that uh, in Italian, as you write it, uh, is uh, Kevin Saunderson. Could you have any other job in your life? Did I have any other job? I don't think so. O only when I was very young. But I did, when I was very young. Okay. Like, very young. So, thank you very much for everything. Yeah. And uh, I hope you enjoy your night. Thank you for much. Just a pleasure, please. Can you please say bye to Brainstorming Television, the camera with me? This is Kevin Saunderson. I'll see you later. Brainstorming TV. Thank you so much.